Hello everyone, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Jehovah, Lord Yeshua, Hamashiach. I just want to share a quick short message uh, for for you, to you, and uh, I know that it is going to be a revelation um, to many. For this is a revelation by the Spirit of God, so the Spirit of God receives all the glory. For He is our teacher, and He will teach us about everything. I want you to go with me in First John, chapter 1, and I'm going to read from verse 1, which the Holy Spirit through John the Apostle is saying, for it says that all scripture is breathed out by God. So it is not John that is writing, but it is the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God that is writing through John the Apostle. He was under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Verse 1 from First John chapter 1, it says, That which was from the beginning which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest. So concerning whom here John or actually the Spirit of God is saying, the life was made manifest jesus christ that he is the life the life became flesh life walked in this earth and we have seen it they have seen the life and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the father and was made manifest to us. Hear this, saints of God. Even if you are an unbeliever. I pray that the Holy Spirit will convict your heart. It says. The life was made manifest. And we have seen it. They have seen the life. And testify to it. And proclaim to you the eternal life. Which was with the Father. And was made manifest to us. Eternal life. Whom is he referring eternal life? To Jesus Christ. Eternal life was with the Father and was made manifest to us. Eternal life became flesh and dwelt among us. Eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. Now hear this message well. This is deep. Eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. You cannot deny Jesus Christ and you will have eternal life because they are one. Eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. In fact, you cannot because there is this teaching which is false concerning one saved, always saved, um, that the, the Bible clearly um, explains to us and show us there are parables, even in many chapters and verses, uh, that um, it's not how you start Christianity, but how you finish. And a, 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 a person, a Christian, he can lose his salvation. How? If he denies Jesus Christ. If he denies Jesus Christ, he is denying eternal life. If he, let's say, is, he is, he is uh, in, in the moment to, or he is being persecuted or she, and they say the person, you know, deny uh, Jesus and we will spare you. If they deny Jesus, you know, they have denied eternal life. You know, that's why um, we need to die daily and follow Jesus Christ. Daily, it says. 
So in fact, as also Jesus says, um, who denies me, I will deny him in front of the Father and the holy angels. Why? Because if you deny Jesus, you are denying eternal life. Eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. In fact, Jesus um, said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He is the resurrection of the, and the life. So if you reject Jesus Christ, you are rejecting the resurrection and the life. So if you are, if you are rejecting resurrection when you die, how can you be resurrection? How can you be um, resurrected again? The same. If a person does not believe in the Holy Spirit, he believes in God the Father and Jesus, but does not believe in the Holy Spirit. If a person does not believe in the Holy Spirit, he cannot have the Holy Spirit. And it was the Spirit of God that raised um, Jesus from the dead. So. If you are rejecting the Holy Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit cannot um, uh, resurrect that person. Apart from that, obviously, where the scripture says that those who have the Spirit of God belongs to God. So you need to have the Spirit of God to belong to God. So, yes, um, brothers and sisters, um, practically this was the revelation to you that Eternal life is a person, that his name is Jesus Christ. Um, a Christian person, a born again, he can um, lose his salvation if he willingly choose. And one of the things how um, you can lose your salvation is by fear. You fear. Fear is um, a dangerous tool, a dangerous spirit. Um, uh, that's why um, also if you go in the Revelation it says uh, where the Lord Yeshua Hamashiach says that um, uh, um, the cowards who is coward um, his portion is in the lake of fire because um, coward you know um, it is a sin you know um, uh, for God did not give us a spirit of fear but of power love and self-control so, saints of God, before I close, I just want to refresh your mind and your spirit, and I make sure that the seed will enter in your soil, and uh, the Holy Spirit will water it, and it will grow, and it produces um, good fruit. And I pray that you might share this message with um, your loved ones and brothers and sisters. Because there are many um, false teachings out there that they seem right, but they are not right. Like one of them is once saved, always saved. Um, uh, here you can see clearly that eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. Eternal life was with the Father in heaven and was made manifest to us. Eternal life is Jesus Christ. Eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. Eternal life became flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. Many people in those days, in those times, saw eternal life and they touched eternal life. They touched Jesus Christ. They touched his flesh. But not all received eternal life. This is really deep. This is really deep. I repeat, in those times, many people saw eternal life because eternal life is a person. His name is Jesus Christ. Many people, there were many crowds touched eternal life that his name is Jesus Christ. He walked in the flesh, but few people received the eternal life. And you can see one of the examples that those people that they gave their back um, to the eternal life um, whilst they were disciples of Jesus Christ is um, in John chapter 6 verse 66 where, the, where there was a multitude of his disciples that they, were, that they were disciples of Jesus Christ and they took offense at his teaching and they they 
turned back, it says. What it means, turned back? They gave their back to Jesus Christ. If they gave back to Je if they gave their back to Jesus Christ, they gave their back to eternal life. And there immediately, if you are giving your back to eternal life, you are giving your back to salvation. Salvation is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. That's why in the scripture, and I would like um, to close with this verse, by the grace of God, through the leading of the Holy Ghost, um, if we would go in... Uh, In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, it says, Fight the good fight of, faith, of the faith, take hold of eternal life. Take hold of eternal life. What it means, take hold? Grab eternal life. Because eternal life is a person that his name is Jesus Christ. And Satan wants to come to steal, kill, and destroy to make you lose your salvation by denying Jesus Christ in the moments of difficulty. But Jesus says the one who endures till the end will be saved. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I thank you for your time, for hearing this message. I pray that it might be fruitful and a revelation to you. And if you have any questions, please feel free um, to write us on Facebook or, um, uh, or, or on the house of the Lord Malta at Outlook.com. If, if you are an unbeliever, make a decision today. Salvation um, is today. The day is today for salvation. Accept Jesus. Um, Christ, with your heart, believe in him as the only one true God, the Messiah. Um, because God did not destine us for wrath, but to obtain salvation um, by his son, Jesus Christ. And there is no other name which is given unto men that we might be saved, only Jesus Christ. And there is only one mediator between God and mankind, Jesus Christ. There is no Mary, no Buddha, no Hindu, no Allah, only Jesus Christ. All other gods are with small g and they are false and they will take you and drive you to hell. But there is only one that is true God, Jesus, that he is the Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, the holy one of Israel, that he himself is God. God bless you, brothers and sisters, and I wish you well in the Lord.